Hello everybody, um, this is a Trident Maple. Um, first started this project uh, oh, a year ago, 2019, eight, March and April 2019. Um, there is a playlist for this tree. Let me pull out some of these weeds. There is a playlist for this tree with a couple of videos in it um, detailing how I got it and uh, its first chop, which was at this point here. Um, if I turn the tree, um, you can maybe see there's quite a large scar just there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Yeah, so quite a large scar, but it's beginning to heal now um, and beginning to get reasonable taper. Um, I had a number of comments on that first video and I chopped it as to, um, because I'd suggested that I'd wanted a Trident Maple for quite some time. I hadn't been able to find one, uh, uh, querying really why I hadn't done an air layer and uh, I could have had more than one and I had to reply that I've tried air layering many many times and I've never had success, not once. Um, tried different techniques and different methods but never, never actually got one to take. So that's the um, that's the weeds cleaned up off the pot. Now I am going to try and air layer this tree because I've found um, another method which I've never tried before. Uh, so I'm not going to take credit for this. Um, I found this on YouTube, and uh, I will put a link in the description below. And uh, for those that are interested, Cooper D, Cooper D. You're on camera. Say hello. Cooper D. Cooper D. The Cooper, the camera shy collie, everyone. Are you in there? Oh, you are in there. Good boy. Get out of there. Stop causing the trouble. Okay, so where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Oh yes, I am going to try um, an air layer the tree um, at the point where I would have, or just above where I would have uh, chopped it if that was what I was going to do next, which it was. So I'm going to air layer it at this point and uh, the method I'm going to use involves uh, using these uh, tubs that you get, well in this case it's a, a cheese spread. Um, it could be anything, margarine, uh, soft cheese, cream I suppose, clotted creams, anything of that nature. Um, a clothes peg. And some compost. In this case it's uh, a seed and cutting compost which has hardly any um, nutrition in it. I don't want to burn the delicate. Uh, roots as they come out. So how do I know this will work for me? I don't. It's an experiment. Um, I'm going to try two on this tree and I have another tree which I'll introduce in a little while which I'm also going to try some on. I'm going to try one using the uh, compost, aforementioned compost and on top of that I have some well wetted sphagnum moss and I'm going to try that in another one. So. Um, by way of an experiment, we will see uh, which works best, if they work at all. Okay, so assuming I would like my next chop to create taper to be in this general area, um, I'm going to look at doing my air layer up here somewhere. Um, yeah, between these two nodes here, I think, would be a good good place to do them. So. That's where the clothes peg comes in. Um, put the clothes peg there and it helps to support uh, this when this is full of soil. So um, I'm going to take these shoots off and okay so before I do anything to the stem I'm going to prepare uh, my carton. Let's call it a carton. So 
um, just offering it up to the tree. I know roughly how wide I need a slot. So I'm just using my old root pruning scissors. I'm going to cut out a slot like so. Top and bottom. Um, you could use the square type, so I think the, the oval types will possibly fit on better. Um, having that kind of a point at the top uh, and bottom, they're going to kind of stay in place better, I think. So, yeah, that should be good. Maybe a tad deeper. And what you want to end up with is the stem of the plant sort of embedded halfway into this pot. I feel very blue Peter. Um, for those of you who don't know or live abroad, uh, Blue Peter is a television show um, still going now. It's going when I was a child and I'm in my 50s. And, uh, they always put black plastic over the, the names of things so you don't get moaned at for advertising. So, okay, so. Move you in a little closer. So I'm gonna use my trusty old grafting knife and uh, make a ring around the bark all the way around top and bottom and you need a good section is what they say I'm talking to you as if I'm an expert and I've already told you that um, I've never had one of these work before but uh, I'm trying to give you the correct information which is uh, the amount of bark you remove needs to be more than uh, double the width of your stem okay so I have managed to break off the tip of my grafting knife. It should have a nice sharp point. Um, unfortunately, I've broken the tip off um, opening a tin of paint, which is not a good idea. Um, and of course, we're in lockdown. Everywhere's closed. I can't go and get a new one. So I'm just having to make do for the time being. Uh, we have restrictions here in the UK of what you can order in terms of knives over the internet, so we can't even order one easily over the internet to replace this one. And realistically, I'd like to support somewhere local uh, once we come out of lockdown. So, in lieu of a nice sharp pointy knife, I'm going to use my thumbnail. Um, scrape away all this bark. Unpleasant view to watch, so we'll come back once I've done that. Okay, so I've removed all the bark and uh, scraped away the cambium layer. And um, now all that remains, in theory, is... Fill this with compost. Uh, it might be easier to part fill the tray first. This is, as I said, pre wetted, so it's kind of sticking together a bit like a, a child's sandcastle, as it were. Okay, so the trick will now be to get this on without it all falling off. Okay, so this is what you could almost do with a second pair of hands. So I'm just going to continue to infill. about kick handed Charlie. Okay, so that's 
pretty much filled that container to the brim and then it's a question of clicking the lid into place not as easily said as done because um, obviously where you've cut it you've weakened the pot okay so that's the basics um, now you really don't want this falling apart so um, to help hold it together and also to seal the top and bottom so that it doesn't lose too much moisture I'm going to cover it with some cling film it sealed keep the moisture in and uh, I may have to put a cane in behind this tree to um, help support it with the weight once I put another one further up um, I'm also think I'm gonna um, wrap a piece of wire around that as I say this is just an experiment I've never tried this before I'm learning as I'm going and uh, maybe the square ones hold up better certainly the, the guy on the internet didn't seem to be having the problem getting the lid to stay on that I'm having um, still live and learn okay so got me a piece of wire and uh, I think one will suffice. Just going to wrap it around the fattest part. I cut that a little bit long, but never mind. Better too long than too short. Just give that a couple of twists. Perfect. If I turn the tree, you should be able to see that the stem. This cling film is really not clinging very well. Let me remove that peg, and that can help hold the cling film there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's fairly central in the tub, and uh, what I will do is I'm going to get a cane or something just to anchor that tree back in the pot otherwise it's going to flop about in all the wind that we get mm. another piece of wire will do it okay let me find another piece of wire at a gauge this time um, the pot has a nice lip to it it's a, just a basic seed tray um, so I'm going to form a nice little U that'll sit under the pot. Like so. And then cut me off a nice piece of wire. And this will just work like a little guy um, just stopping the tree from falling forward uh, under the weight of the, the compost in the tub so um, yeah so that's number one done um, I'm going to do another one higher up using some sphagnum moss and uh, We'll see which one works best. Okay, so um, squeeze some of the excess moisture out of the sphagnum moss, and uh, I'm going to fill in uh, the carton.
with a peg in place. Yep, that's working yep, quite well. So I might want to come down just a little bit. Um, the root should come from this portion. So um, obviously you need more room in this, the latter half. If you can, that's better. Latter half, I said, didn't I? Of course, I meant the bottom half, but a few twists just to hold that in place. And then I want to flatten that down so it doesn't catch on the cling film, which I didn't do, so I'm going to do that now. this time okay so um, that's more weight onto the tree but it's it is trying to fall forwards but that piece of wire at the base is doing a grand job of uh, holding it for me so yeah so that's my strange kind of concept for this tree for this year um, what I will do is I will set an alarm on my phone for uh, 1st of July which is about, so that's about almost three months away um, and we'll do an unwrap and uh, see how they've developed any roots or not okay so this is a purchase I made uh, about a month ago um, before we went into lockdown lockdown and uh, I paid 15 whole pounds for this uh, liquid amber Styracifluor. Um, I'm going to use exactly the same methods as I used on the trident maple um, and again I'm going to see if I can create three trees out of this one um, but before we do that let's just try and move in a cl bit closer um, so you can see some of the details of this tree okay so i haven't had much of a fertile around but it does have the beginnings of a a reasonable nibari um, and branch structure um, and you could possibly get away with chopping it in this kind of area um, and you could build on these existing branch structure um, but i think i'm going to chop it um, here and again slightly higher up I'm not going to bore you by filming the whole thing, but uh, we'll come back and have a look once I've done it. Okay, so that's both of the methods used on this liquid amber. Uh, I've got compost in the lower tub and sphagnum moss in the higher tub. Um, I've put the cane back into the Uh, pot that this liquid amber came in and uh, that's just going to support this extra weight of these tubs uh, until we can take them off um, as I guess again it's the uh, liquid amber styraki, styraki fluor, um sweet gum and uh, has maple like summer foliage that turns brilliant crimson purple and orange during the autumn which is something to particularly look forward to. Um, older stems have corky bark and uh, it's deciduous so yeah interesting little tree I only paid 15 pounds for it and um, if I can get three trees that'll be a fiver each thank you very much I'll take that all day long thank you all for watching and please 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 do take care of yourselves stay safe